Coming up this week, our Chevy destination takes Bob and his crew to Naples, Florida, where they will go offshore with Captain Mark Rogers with BassOnline.com Fishing, Florida's largest fishing service. Also on this week's show on the Sportsman's Table, we feature a shrimp and grits recipe with a Creole twist. All this and a whole lot more. And it begins right now. thought of this lead, he might have been a Jay. Fish on. Double up, double up, man. <laughs> Folks, listen, we are in beautiful Naples, Florida. We're going offshore. Our captain today, Captain Mark Rogers, right here out of Naples, Florida. And another, well, he's going to be our mate today, but he also guides out of here, Nick Pascarello. And, and these two guys normally take all their clients out, but what we're going to do on the show today is I'm trying to give all of our viewers just kind of a sense of how it goes and how you begin to fish when you come out of Naples with these two guys. And, and again, we've got a little bit of chop today, Mark, okay? And so you're, you're going to primarily stop catching a little bit of bait before we go. Yep. So kind of walk me through what the process is, is when clients get on board early in the morning. Okay, well basically what we do is, I mean, I, sometimes I'll use the beaky rigs if the bait's really thick, but most of the time we'll drop down, we'll put a piece of squid on a little drop rig, Yeah. and um, we'll just catch a bunch of squirrel fish, pin fish, and um, grunts to get it started. Well, you know, and again, part of the whole fishing process of coming here is is this beautiful area we call the Gulf of Mexico yeah. and it is really beautiful so what are we going to expect to catch today today we'll catch um, we might catch some yellowtail snapper we'll catch some lane snapper a bunch of grouper we'll catch a lot of fish all right man Bo listen right. it's an honor and a privilege yeah. to be with both you guys huh I'm telling you Nick yeah brother from New Jersey huh <laughs> oh, I'm telling you all right I'm listen let's go. let's catch some bait Bo all, all right, right. Uh, a little better Mark got a better one Nick yeah I think so we we'll get him come up here. We'll see. And I love the color of this beautiful water. Yeah, While I'm bringing this fish up, okay, we, we've got to talk about talk about beauty. Yep. We've really got to talk about. I mean, you've lived in Naples what? How Thirty-one many? years. Oh wow. Yep. I mean, listen, I've been by Naples, okay, and I'll just have to plead ignorance. I didn't realize it was such a great place. Oh yeah, it's really, it's really they're trying to keep it a small town, you know, as much as they can. It's grown over the years, but it's really pretty, and they try to keep it a controlled, not not a lot of big signs everywhere. Right. You know, no real high rises on the on the beaches, but then you know they're trying to keep it real pretty. Lots of restaurants, you know, it's just a great place to live and to be. And you know, the winter time, the more people come down, and they, everybody just enjoys it. Well, I mean, that that's is so clean and pristine. And yeah. I mean, it's just. Well, the beaches are, they were always in the top 10 of the world in the beaches. It yeah. seems like when, they, when you see the reviews. And yeah, it's, the Calgary County is always clean. It's just Naples is a clean city. Well, and, and so that's why they need to come down and go fishing yeah, with you, exactly. okay? There's I lots mean, to do. You go offshore fishing, spend time in the town. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, and, and to do this. And do that. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Yeah. You got oh, one, man? One. Yeah, right, man. All right. Woohoo. That's a little better. It'll be close. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, folks, we moved a couple of miles farther out a little bit. So, what, we're about 26, 27 yeah, now? Yeah, around that. Yeah, yeah okay. A uh, little bigger fish, hopefully, coming out here. I think it's an old guide trick. He just wanted to see if I could catch the little ones. Because if you can catch the little ones, you can catch the big ones. That's it. Ain't that right, Coach? Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's wow. Look at this. This is a better one. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. Mm, well, let's see. I got one coming up. I don't think he's that big, but we'll see. 
Ain't it kind of funny though? We moved, and then I got, <laughs> I got the. You got the one of these. Yeah, guys eat. but look at here. Okay. <laughs> if you are looking to fish the great waters of Florida, no matter if it's fresh water or salt water, then make sure you're booking your next trip with a fishing service you can trust. Bass Online is Florida's most trusted fishing service. They have the best guides on staff that not only guide trips on some of Florida's best fishing locations, but they also enjoy fishing these same bodies of water for themselves. So for the customer, the guides are always tracking fish and keeping up with the patterns. Bass Online can not only team you up with a quality guide, but also book your entire trip from accommodations to food. Go online and book a great Florida fishing vacation. Go to Bass Online today and enjoy all that Florida has to offer for the professional to the novice fisherman. Bass Online, a fishing service you can trust. Start down in Port Royal with a basket of fresh oysters every bit as good today as they were back when Papa showed you how to eat them. Then to McClellanville for some fresh caught shrimp. Nice big ones you can just about hide behind. Toss in a few crabs that you pick up in Marl's Inlet and by the time you get to Little River you've got a seafood feast that tastes like South Carolina. Carolina caught Carolina bought. Thanks y'all for keeping it local. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia, for life. Well, I got scar tissue there. Same thing with any den or dings on this truck. They all got a story about what happened to them. It was raining. There was only one way out. I could feel the barbed bar wire just digging into the paint. Two bulls were fighting. Bam, hit the truck. Try explaining that to your insurance company. Another ding, another scratch. It would just be another chapter in the story. Every scar tells a story, and you can tell a lot more stories when your truck is a Chevy Silverado, the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is brought to you today by Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. By Paddington Seed, the leader in outdoor forage products. By Browning, Browning, the best there is. By Bienville Plantation, Florida's best trophy bass fishing. <laughs> Listen, you know what's so much fun about this? <laughs> yeah. Just like you said, every cast. Uh, every drop there. Every drop. Yeah. Man, uh, now who wouldn't love one. to do this? I know. Huh? Everybody does. I'm serious. Okay, I love so, to do it. So, you know, you see a lot of, of folks that come out and they want to catch trophy. Right. Yeah, you know, look, I, I just like catching fish. Oh, yeah. Okay? We catch fish I mean, and we catch trophies every once in a while. We well, get a monster. Yeah, sure. And, but you can't catch him if he ain't out here. That's it. You know? And we catch a lot of fish out here. It's like this all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There okay, now we got one. a double boat. <laughs> there we got a double. Yep. Mm. Oh. This is a good fish. I tell you what, though. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, yeah, on light tackle. Yeah, I reckon. Oh, yeah, that is a good fish. Yeah, you can't beat that. <laughs> okay, you good. Yours is bigger <laughs> than mine. I'll have to admit. Mm. I'll have to admit. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a good one there. Yeah, it is. That's that's probably he's a little shy. Of the yeah, 20. a little short, 18. Yeah, 18 inches. But they're fun to catch. Yes, sir, they are. I, you know the thing, like I said, I mean, just one after the other. That's, oh yeah. That's what makes it nice. Yeah, it is one after the other. Mm. Okay, we've caught how many species of fish today? I've lost count. What? I have no idea. Six, seven different. Uh, I mean, at least six or seven. Yeah. I mean, yeah, probably six, seven, eight. 
Okay. There's all kinds down there, and then you can troll and try to catch some kingfish or whatever. Oops. Well, you know what's so so special about this is there he is. Uh, no, I missed him. Is okay. Sometimes when we do offshore fishing, we go fish the wrecks and things yeah. like that, and you and you can get big amberjack and right. and whatever. Most of the time, what you get is you get cut off. Yeah, you okay. get cut off or they don't bite. Exactly. Or, you know, whatever. Bottom fishing, you, they bite all the time. It's yeah. like you come out here and they just bite. And the good thing is, you, I mean, these bottoms are smooth, so yep. you really don't have to worry about re-rigging all the time. Right. And that gets frustrating for a yeah. client. I mean, you know. Yeah. And I know it happens, but. Oh, yeah, it happens even with these rigs. But these rigs here with the ink, with the weight on the bottom, yeah. they really work great. You can feel every strike and you don't move, you don't break off many fish at all. Hmm. I wonder what, uh, did just in 65 feet of water out about 30 miles now now it looks like the jellyfish have showed up yeah what do you got nick oh, oh it was a shark yeah <laughs> shark starting to show up ah. oh, there mm. oh there he is you got him yeah <laughs> light tank is fun yeah it is Plus, you could put a grunt behind it, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Little grouper. He thought he was big. Yeah. Oh, got him, Mark. Yeah, it's a little bit man. Ah. I don't think it's a giant, but... Well, I tell you, it's hard to tell with that with that bigger rod. Yeah. With uh, those 975s on there. Of course, they'll handle a big yeah, they, can, they can hunt everything. But you know when you get a... When you get a keeper, you know it. You know it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, he's a keeper. That's yeah. not too bad. No, sir. Getting a little closer. Listen, you know, and grouper, mm, man, they're good eating, Oh, too. yeah, they're good eating. Golly. For sure. Well, I have to ask you, as a guide, yep. how many nights a week do you guys have fish at your house? Oh, geez. Well, it, it's hard. Not a lot. And, and usually when I eat it, it's it's what I catch. I don't usually buy it very much. Right, yeah. But, um, you know, if I, the problem is when I'm guiding, I can't keep... You know the groupers. I'm not I'm legally. I'm not allowed to. I got you. So uh, the the customers keep them. But if I come out fishing on my own, then I'll keep a couple. Can, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. As a recreational fisher, fisherman and a guide, uh, talk to me a little bit about the regulations. They've changed over the last seven, eight, ten yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, good, bad, still. I think it's it's good. It's 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 like the grouper fishing is kind of weird. Like the last couple years was really good, and then. And then it kind of tapers off, and you catch. You always catch a lot. You know, a lot of 16, 18 inches, and that 20 inches sometimes is hard to come by unless you keep going farther and farther out. Right. Um, I think you know they're kind of watching the regulations. Good. It seems to be working, it, but it, it seems to come in waves. You know, one year it'll be phenomenal, and the next year it'll kind of taper off. But you're always catching fish out here. Is the thing. I got you. Yeah. Now, has that affected your your guide trips, your clientele, and that sort of thing? Um, no, not too much. Okay. I mean, some people want to come up and meet fish. Some people just want Want to catch fish and have I got fun. You. Yeah. yeah, and put them back and move yeah. on. Yeah, go. okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Chevrolet presents Bob's Top 16 Outdoor Destination of the Week. A look at the best hunting and fishing destinations in the United States. Each week, Chevrolet will feature a new hunting or fishing destination in conjunction with Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine and Bob's Top 16. Pine Island Sound is nestled just north of busy Fort Myers and south of Sarasota, just off the Gulf of Mexico. It's a shallow water slice of old world Florida that still resists the building boom and offers outdoor family fun and fishing just like it did in the old days. Inshore summer fishing for snook and tarpon are world class. Drift fishing for redfish and sea trout on open grass flats is superb. On the nearby Gulf of Mexico beaches, still pristine and very public, pompano fishing is the best it's been in decades, and snook are in good supply too. For an angler looking for a choice spot for a family vacation, no place is better. Secluded sounds, passes and harbors offer great boating opportunities. Shell collecting is world famous on barrier islands in the area, such as fabled Sanibel and Captiva, as well as on undeveloped Calla Costa. Some of the best snook and tarpon guides in the world work the area. The sound is easy to get to, and flat skiffs, bass boats, even john boats are regularly used by anglers to tap the area's terrific fishing. Marinas, motels, and access sites abound throughout the area. The most unique spot in the area, and one of the most remarkable places still available to the public in Florida, is Cabbage Key. www.cabbagekey.com 
It's a private island offering on-the-water cottages with docks for visitor boats and a unique restaurant in an old Florida setting not to be missed. For more destinations, be sure to visit BobRedfern.com and click on the Bob's Top 16. And to get to your next destination, go online at Chevy.com. I was really fortunate to be raised in a family with a strong outdoor heritage. We've been farming and hunting land that's been in our family since the Revolutionary War. Being good stewards of the land and wildlife and passing that on to future generations has always been part of our heritage. My grandfather created a company based on these values and 70 years later, Pennington is still guided by these principles. This culture and these values are reflected in all of our products. Let us help you create your own outdoor legacy. The old 96 district in South Carolina is nestled in the western corner of the state and is a haven for fishing enthusiasts. South Carolina's freshwater coastline wraps around 84,000 acres of water, including lakes Greenwood, Russell, and Thurman. Experience the incredible outdoor adventures, arts, culture, history, and heritage of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, and Lawrence, and McCormick counties. Plan your next outdoor outing in South Carolina's old 96 district, a part of the South Carolina freshwater coast. Navigational lights, they're not to help you see better at night, they're to help other boaters see you. State law requires that you turn on your navigational lights during times of low visibility and from official sunset to official sunrise. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well. Here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. My guest is Executive Chef Dylan Foster from Wicked Tuna Restaurant right here in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Again, remember that, wickedtuna.com, great place to eat here. Dylan, yes, hey man, sir. Hi, it's all about shrimp and grits That's today. That's what though. it is today. That's uh, for sure. Wicked Tuna. Yes, Listen, sir. You guys got a great restaurant over there going. Thank you. Well, you know, how many years have you guys been on the strip? Seven now, going into our seventh. Wow. So we're getting in there. Okay, awesome. Yes, Listen, sir. I am excited about shrimp yes. and grits is always good from South Carolina, but you got a different twist on it today. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. So we're doing a traditional shrimp and grits with local South Carolina shrimp out of Beaufort or Beaufort. I'm, I'm not a local boy, so I, I, got I don't okay. have this, the, the lingo. But the cool part about uh, what we're going to do today is we normally use an andouille sausage in the restaurant. Right. We usually use an andouille. But I have a, a contractor that works with us who is an avid hunter here in the area. He's been using our grits as bait in his food plot. Got the meanest looking hog he had, that he found in Georgetown, he said. 150 pound male, and he gave me some of the sausage. So I said, what better day to use the sausage there you go. than here? So yeah. we're gonna do a little shrimp and grits with some wild boar sausage. Okay. On the sportsman's table. There here you go. go, it doesn't get any more local than that. No, sir. It's full mm. circle. Okay. So we're just gonna and start off with a little chopped garlic. Get, a little that, oil. get okay. that smell going here in oh, Lee's yeah. for him this morning. We're gonna put some shrimp and in there. And a little extra there. Local South Carolina shrimp. Yeah, there you go. All right. We're gonna add some sausage in there as well. Yes. Oh, wow. All right, yeah. now we're gonna let that come together there. Mm. Let that sausage render down, bring in that. There we go. Now we're gonna finish these off with our Creole sauce. Okay. So that sauce is gonna mix in with the... Now that's a Creole sauce? Yes, sir, Creole mm. sauce. Now what's the main ingredient in that? Red peppers and onions and garlic and heavy cream. Okay, and then it's pureed and... Yep. Okay. Yep, we puree it fresh every that. day. You know, now I have to tell you, we've got a lot of shrimp and grits on here, but that that looks delicious. Mm. Well, that's, let's hope. If we, did oh, our, yeah. if we did our job right this morning, mm. it will also taste delicious. 
we're gonna. All right, now we're ready to plate. I'm ready to plate this up. Okay. We're gonna just spoon in our mixture here, right over top of those grits. Oh, Dylan, that. All right. Throw in all that shrimp and sausage. Mm. Mm -mm. And you know the great thing. It's about a messy it is, looking dish. Well, the great thing about it is, folks that are vacation over here in Myrtle Beach, in the area, come on down to Myrtle's Inlet because that's where all the food is being prepared. little Parmesan. <laughs> there you go. little parsley and chives right. on top of that. Mm, look at that. I wow. spilled. See, we made a mess. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's cooking. It's not... We have too many rules in our lives. There you go. There we go. You're and there is it. our shrimp and grits from the Wicked Tuna. There we go. There awesome. it is. Well, listen. Thank you so much, yes, my sir. friend, huh? And I'm that telling you what. WickedTuna.com. Come on down to Merle's Inlet. CertifiedSCGrown.com. See what's fresh on the menu. We'll be right back again next week with another great recipe here on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. T minus seven, two, five. We have lift off. I got scar tissue there. Same thing with any den or dings on this truck. They all got a story about what happened to them. It was raining. There was only one way out. I could feel the barbed bar wire just digging into the paint. Two bulls were fighting. Bam, hit the truck. Try explaining that to your insurance company. Another ding, another scratch. It'll just be another chapter in the story. Every scar tells a story, and you can tell a lot more stories when your truck is a Chevy Silverado, the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Fireline. That means you catch more fish. Ultra 8 features eight braided strength, heated to molecularly bind individual fibers. It lays well on the spool and is quieter going through your guide. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. New Fireline Ultra 8, and you thought Fireline couldn't get any better. On South Carolina waters, it is very critical to keep a proper lookout when operating a watercraft. Boats do not have turn signals or brake lights, and the operator needs to have a 360 degree radius around him he is observing. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom-crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. By Berkeley, catch more fish with Berkeley fishing products. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. By Browning Ammunition, Browning the best there is. And by Southern Woods Plantation, a place where the grandeur of times past can still be experienced today. Oh, there's one. I uh, got one too, man. All right. All right. That was double. <laughs> oh. ah, yeah. Can't beat that. All right, now mine's. Oh, look, oh, at, look mine. at that. Look at that. Oh, oh that's a lane. A giant look at that. lane. That, that's a big one. Wow. Wow. That's okay, a huge tell lane. me about this lane. We, we've caught some small ones today. Yeah. Tell, tell me a little bit about the lane snapper. Well, the lane are everywhere. I mean, you can catch them up close to shore. You can catch them way out. The farther you go out, the bigger they get. Right. This is another grunt, a yeah, Key West grunt. But, um, you know, sometimes they'll come in, especially when they're spawning and things, they'll come in and the bigger ones will move in like that. That's a big one for the depth we're in. Yeah. And they're great to eat. I like them better than grouper, actually. Really? Yeah. All right. You're going to put this in the box? Oh, yeah. We'll put them in okay. the box. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Keep that one. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I can, I'm glad I could assist for supper. Yeah. Woo. Got dinner. Oh, Mark, uh -oh. man, he bent Got the one. rod, Bo. Yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, folks, we moved again. Hi, what, another mile? Yeah, probably. Okay. And, and one of the key things is, as you've tried to tell us, just kind of move just a little bit deeper, and the bigger they get. And, they, man, look at that. That's it. Oh, man. Oh, oh awesome. <laughs> ah, 
Yeah. Uh oh, we got somebody else's lying to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we do. Is that one of ours? Yeah, it's one of ours. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it's probably off that spinning rod back there. Yeah, that's all right. Mm -hmm. There yeah. must be somebody in the back of the boat that put that thing be, out. Yeah. You know, it's the mate or something. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm just telling you. <laughs> uh, not as big as we thought, but no. he's pretty good. Yeah, hey, listen, that's not bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, get him, Mark. Get yeah, him. we got a good one, feels yeah, like. Yeah, man. Well, folks, we moved uh, one more time, what, another couple miles? Maybe? Yeah, at least. So how far are we out now? I've almost lost track. Probably about 28. Yeah, okay. All right, now while you're reeling that fish in, tell all the folks out there some of the best times, and I know you can fish Florida year-round, right. okay? But as far as coming to do what we've done today, every cast, yeah, I mean, every cast, you can almost do it all year round. Um, you know, the, the red grouper start getting real good in the summertime all the way into fall. The fall get real good for the red grouper. Yeah. And then you get into a little bit cooler, the kingfish start rolling in. Um, bonita, mackerel, I um, mean, in the winter time, you got more bonita, mackerel, kingfish in the more warmer summer months. You got, oh. there you go, you got red grouper, gags, uh, and uh, you know, just a wide variety all year long. Yeah, okay. Let's get him up here. There you go. Mm. That's almost a keeper there. Yeah, man. Almost. <laughs> That's almost a meal. <laughs> that actually might be a keeper. Yeah, look at that. Mm, yeah, man. Yeah, I, got him. I got him. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, oh man. Now, who wouldn't like coming out here and catching one of them right after, one after another? Oh, yeah, that's huh? right. Listen to that. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Back in to the big sea you go. That's Boom. it. All right. Mark, Nick. Yep. I got a little better one right here. There we go. Uh, there yeah, we go. Not bad. Uh, not bad. Yep. Uh, okay. Wow. Nice little red grouper. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've caught all types of various fish today. How, how many different species of fish have we got today? Oh, geez, I don't know. We probably got a dozen different kinds. I mean, you know, that's one of the great things when you when you come out here and you hire a guide like you, 30 years in the business. I mean, you're, you're so experienced. It's just it just really makes a difference, okay? And that resonates on camera and folks that watch the show that really want a destination guide. Right. Naples is it, and you are it. Yeah. And I want to thank you so much for having us on board, brother Nick. <laughs> Brother, listen, man. I'm glad you made your way down from from New York and yes, New Jersey to fish with this guy. Okay, and you know we've got the best of both worlds here on the Florida Fishing Network. We've got the offshore guy, freshwater Okeechobee. This guy's a former bass fisherman, now saltwater too. And then this guy can do some inshore. You can find both of these guys when you go to Bob's Top 16 and go to the Florida Fishing Network, BassOnline.com. These guys will be right there. Book your trip when you're going to be down in Southwest Florida because you cannot, not, not fish with these guys when you're down in this part of the country. As we always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you guys right back here next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. Bo? Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Bye. Nick? Yeah. You guys? Now, we, we got to wind them up. Yeah. Wind them down. All right. All right, man. Let me get it back in the water, man. Let's we got more. more time to fish. <laughs> Woo! Ha, ha, ha.